The next what we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to configure custom instruction for any sort of classic orchestration. So let's go under topics and let's click on system and click on conversational boosting. So when classic orchestration is enabled for intent recognition, instruction need to be set at the create generative answers. This is typically in the conversational boosting system topic. So I'm going to click done, boost your conversation with Copilot. That is quite good. So here um, you can see that the trigger is an unknown event and there is a create generative answers. If you click on the ellipses here, you can go to properties and here under the content moderation level, I'm going to tell that Talk like a pirate and use pirate expression. Use emojis in your responses and answer in less than 50 words. That is quite cool. And I'm going to click on save. And now let's test this is taken effect. I'm going to click on refresh. Now if I go and ask what is Copilot Studio, you should not give me the long blurb what it have given me before from the learn side. It should customize it. And it should assume like it's talking like a pirate because that is the message we have given. And another instruction I have given is like use emojis in your response and answer less than 50 words. Don't give me a, sh a super long answer. <laughs> um, already, uh, yeah, I can see that uh, it is already started using emojis. Um, it's very short and um, super compact message. But at the same time, it gave me a reference link where to find that information and things like that. So that is working. Next, let's go and learn how to configure custom instruction for generative AI orchestration. So for that, uh, we have to go under settings of the agent and uh, on the left hand side, click on generative AI. So this custom instruction can be set in distinct places, depending on whether you are using generative AI orchestration as a main intent recognition mechanism, or if you use the classic natural language understanding approach. So now here we were using the classic, I'm going to switch it to generative AI, and I'm going to retain the strict uh, moderation to be high, to be precise, and image input is kept disabled, and I'm going to click on save. So now the main intention of this um, agent is changed to a classic mode. So the changes have been saved. So click on close to go back to the agent. Now if I go back to the overview of the agent at the top and click on edit. So I'm going to modify the um, instruction of the agent. So the description is the same. I'm not going to modify anything. The uh, general instruction was this before so i'm going to modify this and i'm going to tell that talk like a pirate and use pirate expression use image emojis in your responses answer in less than 50 words and i'm going to click on there is a save option yeah click on save at the top of the agent so now this agent is designed to talk like a pirate so now let's go and use um, ai general knowledge so to do that under overview if you scroll down under knowledge here you can add knowledge but you can allow ai to use its own general knowledge that is already turned on so in addition to knowledge sources if you can use ai general knowledge this will allow your agent to find and present information in response to customer question so general knowledge save you from needing to manually author multiple topics and which may not address all customer questions so this is kind of like a safeguard but you have to test it well. So this capability allows the agent to try and answer questions with its own knowledge outside of any grounding data from your knowledge source like asking question to chat GPT. So now let's go and test it. So I'm going to click on the test option. I'm going to ask a question. Click on refresh first. And I'm going to ask a question like, can you list the planets from closest to farthest uh, from the sun? I'm expecting the response like a pirate, but a correct answer as well at the same time all right and with some emojis so you can see that uh, it is using the pirate format to respond and it is giving me the correct set of planets now let's go and review the generative answers node let's go back to topics and click on system and click on conversational boosting 
and if you go under create generative answers click on the ellipses go to properties and here you under knowledge sources you can enable get search result from the knowledge source using the selected node so enable that with this selected you can actually hand pick the knowledge sources that should be used when entering that specific node so i'm just going to select this that will include our um, websites and the dataverse as well and under classic data i'm going to turn off allow the ai to use its own general knowledge and under content moderation level i'm going to click on customize and the content moderation setting is the level of control you apply to avoid the agent from hallucinating that is coming up with wrong answer to a question by misinterpreting or over interpreting the grounding data so now we leave the content moderation level as super high not high, just high and click on save and click on save let's go to the knowledge tab and see if the dataverse is ready yep you can see that the dataverse is ready now we can test the dataverse here and we are going to test the dataverse knowledge source so we've already tested the custom data public data and things like that now last test is the dataverse now let's click on refresh in the test agent and i'm gonna ask a following about the accounts in the dataverse table which customers are located in redmond and list them in a table with their name and address so that information is available in the dataverse table so it should get the data from the dataverse table all right so it gave me a response the customers in redmond are city power and light sample uh, contoso pharmaceuticals darum corporation and things like that so if i ask a follow-up question thanks who is the primary contact at city power and lights it should understand that and pick up the primary contact details for me scott is the primary contact so the dataverse testing is also complete that's quite good next let's use the generative ai orchestration to interact with your connectors so let's learn how to go and create an action so let's go to the actions tab so first and foremost when you turn on generative mode the agent can automatically select the most appropriate action or topic to respond to the user's runtime so actions are based on one of the core action type it could be a pre-built connector action custom connector action power automate cloud flow ai builder prompts or bot framework skills so what we are going to do is we are going to click on add an action so we're going to say we're going to pick get forecast for today and click next in the end user authentication i'm going to select copilot author authentication under input and outputs click on units how will the agent fill this input i'm going to set a value and click on confirm set as a value and in the value select imperial and click on done and click on add action so now now we have added an action how do you test it let's wait for this action to be added so the action is added um, it is enabled and we got the green tick box now click on refresh to test it so if i say how is the weather today click send so first and foremost what location would you like to get the forecast for you provide a city region state country landmark postal code or even latitude or longitude so anything is fine so i'm going to tell dallas click enter now you can see that it is processing the next information and based on a, a pirate language instruction we have given it is telling in the imperial what is the 77 degree fahrenheit is the temperature and now if i ask another question wait i meant the weather for london also please list all information you have in bullet points all right so now you can see that without even providing the context i just provided london so it says that the full information about the day night the weather condition the moon phase and everything and including the pirate language next let's go and learn invoking ai builder prompt so we're going to create custom prompt and pass it to input and use it as an output so to do that first change to the classic orchestration you know that click under settings if you go under generative ai you can switch it to classic and click on save and once the cha changes are saved completely click on close click on topics 
and we are going to pick a topic here check ticket status so our goal is to use generative ai to draft a letter to the user based on an issue raised in the service service now ticket so that is our goal so let's go to the message node um, scroll down till you find the message node action phrase yeah all right so once you find so this is the message node um, so i'm going to click on the plus icon and click on add an action here you can see there are a lot of options and within that we are going to select a new prompt give a name um, to the prompt so i'm going to tell ticket customer communication and give the instructions so i'm going to give instruction like based on the ticket details write personalized apologetic message to the person impacted you can summarize the issue to show you understand it show empathy and suggest ways to mitigate the situation based on the ticket details have a positive attitude and use emojis when applicable don't include hashtag uh, test should be a single paragraph do not use a signature so i'm going to add additional information to enter and i put forward slash and then click on text and in the dialog box i'm going to change the name to ticket details and for the sample ticket information i'm going to put on the json information for a sample ticket details click on close and here we have the model picker um, i'm going to choose the model picker i'm going to change from basic to standard gpt 4o and click on save now our new prompt model is been saved or saving under enter the select value click on this and select the ticket info and scroll down till you find the output here click on the select a variable and click on create a new variable click on the variable and give a name for the variable i'm going to call it as personalized message this variable 1 is the default variable name at creation so this should always be updated to something more descriptive and easily identifiable that's why we renamed it and if you go and scroll down for the topic everything looks good and scroll down under the prompt mode and click on plus symbol and click on send a message to create a message node click close on the properties click on send a message click on insert variable and select the personalized message dot text and click on save all right so now we have done a lot of work let's see if this is going to work now click on test the agent click on refresh so i'm going to ask a question hey um, could i get an update on ticket on this particular number so we should get an apology tickle message because that's the uh prompt we have given all right yep we got that david i sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused in the email and things like that thank you for the message and that is really good so i hope you've learned a few things compared to the part 1 uh, we are going to do many more of copilot agent or copilot studio agent both agents in the upcoming videos i will see you on the next one take care